This video will easily walk through facilities in Globus. Because the business simulation coaches have seen so many full games to completion, we know the optimal points for developing your facilities decision. And I love to tell people this. You can book a Globus coach like me at the link in the description. It's not necessary to book a coach, but sometimes it's nice to get some more Globus reassurance. The facility page also allows you to change, and there's really only two decisions that need to be made for the AC camera facility. So imagine that you have a, a big facility out there, a big plant, a big uh, uh, set of buildings and workstations, and that's where you manufacture your drones and your camera. And so what exists on are just really two dimensions. You need a space, which is the building, and that's this right over here for cameras. It's the expansion of new spaces. And then you need workstations inside the building. You can't just have a big empty building. You need actual uh, plants and equipment like workstations, like uh, desks and chairs and tables and, uh, and the equipment needed to be able to assemble these things so that your workers can assemble them. And that's found over here in installed. You can increase the number of those stations. Now you already have a plant out there. Do you want to expand that plant? And that's the question that we're trying to answer. And really there's a very simple formula to this. It's that you create an assembly capability without overtime. That's what this is called, W-O-W slash O-O-T, without overtime. You create that so that it's equal to your projected camera demand. And I know we came up with a certain demand on the other pages, so if you do change the quantity on the marketing pages by changing something, you're going to need to come back to this page every time you do that and make sure that the assembly capability without overtime is equal to the demand. The reason we don't go at maximum overtime equal to the demand is because the uh, there's a chance of shortfalls. So if you're 50% of the time, you're going to have a forecast, supposing that your forecast is, is really close to the actual, 50% of the time, you're going to have it be uh, too, you're not going to have enough capability, and 50% the time you'll have enough capability. And so we don't want to run into those shortfalls. That's wasted effort. We want to have a little bit of a buffer. And so I recommend that we make the assembly capability without overtime equal to the projected camera demand. And it, has, it can be roughly equal to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's increase the number of spaces so that we can install the workstations. Now we don't want to ever leave a building just vacant. So we don't want to leave 80 uh, capacity or 80 additional spaces and not actually install anything. We, that's wasted money. So we want to make these two numbers roughly equal. So let's take a look at an experiment on this. So how many installed workstations? Well, I'm going to make that 80. Um, right there. For, I'm going to install 80 additional spaces and 80 stations or 80 workstations in those additional spaces. They have a certain cost each and uh, and the, the workstations have a certain cost each. And that will allow my assembly capability to increase. So I've installed additional spaces, additional workstations. That assembly capability without overtime has gone up and it's exceeded the projected demand. So I want to get these two numbers closer to each other. So let's do that. Maybe if I, if I decrease, and I like working with the space once I'm, I have a lot of uh, spaces and workstations, so I can just do something with Globus, which is just decrease the spaces, and it will automatically make the workstations the lowest amount. So it looks like there's a couple spaces in my previous facility that didn't have workstations. And so that's what you're seeing, that you've, you've installed a bunch of spaces, but you had spaces that you originally had in your in your plant that weren't being used, or there wasn't any workstation in. So that's what's happened here. The, you can install more stations if you have those spaces. And so that was a bit of an inefficiency in my previous plant. So let's go down even, even more. Here we've got an assembly capability. We're getting closer to this number, closer to this number. We want them to be roughly equal. And let's go down to 20, and we're getting there. And we've got, oh, that's a very close. Uh, assembly capability without overtime is equal to the projected demand, um, or very close to it. It doesn't have to be overlapping. It just has to be somewhere in the vicinity. Hit the like and sub if you feel like this video is doing any good. All right, so let's take a look at drones. Drones is exactly the same. And uh, you, you can look at the assembly capability without overtime. It's 168, and my projected demand was 164.8. Now, I could just leave that there. I mean, it's, it's close enough that, uh, that I wouldn't have to do anything. And for that matter, my capability is greater than my demand anyways. And so I don't actually need to install additional workstations or spaces. So let's assume that, that I actually had it um, closer, or I had it more. And so I would look at my assembly capability without overtime, and I would say, well, that's too much compared to the demand. Let's let's go down, and I would decrease that assembly capability. And it looks like I, for the drone facility on my previous plant, I had spaces, a wasted space. And so I can install workstations in those wasted spaces and get an additional capacity. Now, that's not capacity that I need, so there's no reason to increase the workstation um, facility. And I'm going to go back to what it had before. And that's as simple as it gets. Again, you make the assembly capability equal to the projected demand for whatever it is in these, these boxes. And you want these two to be roughly equal, unless you had spaces that were available from the last year because you made some kind of mistake or um, uh, your group member decided that they needed more space and uh, felt like they wanted to, to put their uh, motor home in there or something like that um, without telling the company. Click on this video next and don't forget to subscribe. See the link in the description to book a Globus coach free spreadsheet you can download